It's time, time, time to start the stream. Start the stream. It's time, time, time to start the stream. Start the stream. You gotta start the stream on time. If you don't stream, you're gonna get in trouble. It's time, 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 time. Start the stream. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Things on My Stream. Experimenting with uh, int- with uh, effects for uh, the different the different layers. Whoa. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually a good point. Uh, Neveran uh, is asking. Um, he says, uh, "Please, please." Tell me we've figured out what that song is by now. And I've, uh, yeah, uh, during Desert Bus, somebody got it, but I don't know if anybody noticed. Um, so I'd be curious to know whether uh, that is a known quantity right now. Also, Black Wolf, thank you for subscribing for 14 months in a row. That's excellent. Ooh, Anubis169, I think he's got it. It's, uh, it's very cool. It's, it's from a, uh, uh, a series of, uh, videos on YouTube. Or not on YouTube. It was not originally on YouTube, but you can see them on YouTube. Does anybody know it? I think Anubis, I think Anubis169 has it. It was mentioned during Desert Bus, but I don't think it was ex- explicitly. It somebody did say the actual name of the show. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, just to give you a quick update. In case you haven't uh, seen the stream before, we're playing some Grim Fandango, which is a really amazing uh, LucasArts game. And uh, it's a sort of a, a um, uh, it's an adventure game, you know, one of these sort of go around using inventory stuff, except you're dead. Yep. You know, they say there's no death normally in LucasArts adventure games, but that is entirely untrue because you're dead the entire game because it takes place in the land of the dead. You play Manny Calavera, who is a, or Manuel Calavera, who is a, uh, basically a dead travel agent. So, uh, and you, people die, and then you uh, attempt to get them using the good that they've done in their lives as currency, uh, get them a trip, uh, or a better way of going to the afterlife, which normally takes four years. To have to go through the different layers of the uh, afterlife. Gcal50, thank you for subscribing. Anubis? My pronunciation of Anubis is incorrect. Anubis? Anubis? Anyway. Uh, so, uh, we, uh, as we're being this travel agent, we are going along and uh, we're not getting any good clients. And then, so we decided to steal one. And in the process, so we end up stealing uh, a client from uh, a more successful travel agent who's been really good. She's been really good. I think she was a nun. Uh, But she doesn't qualify for any good packages. And so we begin uncovering this conspiracy of epic proportions in the land of the dead that somebody is taking the packages that are meant for uh, good people and giving them uh, and selling them to not so good people. So, uh, it's, uh, very, uh, so, so there's, there's all sorts of stuff going on. So you, uh, so this woman who you tried to help and you couldn't find a good package for goes off and you feel really bad about it. And so you basically dedicate your, uh, that you're, you're saying like, I need to go and save this person. You know, I need to, it was my fault that she didn't get a, uh, good package to go to the end. Now she's got to spend four years traveling to the underworld. I'll follow her and catch her up and, and, you know, help her out. And unfortunately, it doesn't work out that way. 
uh, and you spend your first year in uh, uh, you, you spend your your first year uh, or after your first year you become sort of a a Humphrey Bogart style uh, uh, head of a um, uh, in a casino uh, in a, a club and you you spend a bunch of time there and then you get passage on a boat because you she you see that she's leaving on a ship and so you get passage on a freighter to go follow her and then you find out that you're when you land some people are going to come and try to kill you and so you have to escape with your boat and in the process rip it in half uh, and then sink but because you're dead sinking isn't so bad you're just hanging out underwater <laughs> and then you travel to the edge of the world which is where we are now so uh, and we are now in year three of what is a four-year journey so after uh, running a after spending a year going from mop boy, uh, or going from a mopper in a uh, in a uh, a little uh, cafe to owning a casino, and then spending a year going from a deckhand swab to a captain of a ship, now I am in the uh, I'm at the end of the world, and we're not talking the metaphorical end of the world. We're talking big big cliff with uh, uh, waterfall going down it. So, anyway. Oh, Captain Spam, I am glad that you're uh, watching it. So, I'm glad that you uh, are finished playing it, that you can watch now. And you will be able to see all the things that I'm doing wrong, which I'm sure will be highly, highly entertaining for you and possibly extremely frustrating. Alrighty, so let's switch over to the PC and uh, let's get it on. Whee. And I will unmute the PC. So we're here uh, at the end of the world. Now, one of the we've got various threads that we're working on right now. One of them being that this this here, this is the woman that we uh, were trying to save by uh, by doing all this travel, and it turns out maybe she doesn't need as much saving as we thought, and she's uh, maybe not the happiest um, with us being that we failed to get her. so fancy you could eat caviar out of it once you got used to the sooty aftertaste you'd feel like a king yeah that's meche meche his name mercedes calamar oh! oops <laughs> oh, i just wanted to pick it up they're ruined oh jeez and this was my best hair Ooh. oh hello I like that the stockings. You try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Her stockings were actually uh, formed into the shape of her legs, over top of the of the bones. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. What did I, did I actually just... Oh yeah, my, I have a little teeny weeny hammer. You know, a little clear nail polish would fix these right up. Ooh. I picked up her stockings. Sexy. Alright, so... It's weird. I'm here... And technically, this is like the bad one of the bad guys' evil lair, and I was captured by him, and then he just kind of offered me a job. And it was like, well, what are you gonna do? Not take the job? You're stuck here. So, I'm sort of working for the bad guys suddenly, but not through any act of my own. What's 
going on? I like the way you can just be like hanging out underwater. Why I oughta? Oh hey. He's the guy who freaking freaking Chapito, huh? Who? That's you. That's you, oh, Chapito. You is it? Why I oughta look at my eyebrows. Well, you really weren't standing in a very safe place. Well, neither are you right now, amigo. Yeah, it wasn't very nice to him. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. We? We are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. If you say so. All right. Gotta move me to the right. Oh, I always do that. Zoom! So you can read it better. Alright. Nice drill. Whew. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. You get a bus stop. I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the big reef. Where'd you booty? get booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins, you people and your Darn fancy it. boats never know about it. Cause you just never stop and look. Give me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious mm -hmm. coins for a power tool? It's a bust all. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? Ooh, a drink. We're swimming in the biggest drink there is. Drinks aren't a hot commodity down here. Sorry. A boat would be there good. There you go again with the boats. You know I don't like them. Why do you have to needle me? A hug? Mm, nope. That's the one thing I ain't got for you. Ooh, a gun. gun. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? Turtleneck. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Acrylic? No, it's all natural. Oh, too bad. Natural fibers are so uncomfortable underwater. I know, I know. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Freaking, freaking. Stupid chisel. What stuff do I have worth trading? I wonder if you would like a little teeny Chapito, huh? Teeny weeny hammer. What? Well, I got a long day guard. Please, bust away. We have to actually like pull it out and use it on him. Yo, Pito! Have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. Oh, rusty anchor. Hi. Ah, sweet Mary. I feel like I made out better in that deal. Oh, dee nice. da da da. Go to Mississippi. Chapito. Nah! Quit yelling! I 
How'd you get a bus stop? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? Ooh, does he like How stock? About a pair of nice silk stockings. Ah, now there's a high ticket item. I might be able to get you some, but I gotta tell you, you couldn't afford it. Oh wait, no. My friend Gladys. I want to give you a pair of what? silk stockings. What happened? He went over the edge. Oh, stay away from the edge, I tell you. It's dangerous. I've seen whole ships go over it in my time. Their engines in full reverse, trying to drop anchor. But the current, you can't fight her. So stay back. A towel. Hey, you funny guy, chalkhead. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Think small, like a knife or dirty books. You got that stuff? Well, no, but... Practically everything else. Well, you don't want that big octopus to see you chatting. Oh, brother, that's right. La -dee -dee -dee. Gonna see Miss hey, Liza. Check out the hosiery. Yeah, yeah, nice stockings. Say, these Those will make you feel real pretty. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Whoa! Ah, my first Brautella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. A gun? La -dee -da -dee -da -da -da. Sweet! La -dee -dee -dee. All right. Oh, now I got a gun. Merry Christmas. I have a gun now. Ho, ho, ho. Tell a gun. I have my gun for such a short time. <laughs> Apparently, he's only into shooting things that are to the left of him. He's like, mm. wait. a relationship without trust true a relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets guess you oh. didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days come on let's go Gigi, you don't know what you're... i know exactly what around for no, mad no. days <laughs> would you just listen to my escape plan first trouble in paradise kids you're letting us go right now or your boy friday here gets it well I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm gonna crack you open like a fake wing boss. I'm gonna... <sighs> Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker, but a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. I mean, this guy is a asshole, but I do have to respect how calm he is. He he keeps real cool. It's empty. Where's the cooler? Hugsy! Must be Baby. a combination lock, but there are no numbers on it. Poor Don was never good with numbers. I'm getting angry! I'm getting angry! Baby! Oh. I promise! 
Goodbye. Help! Hmm. Is there anybody out there? I'm getting angry. Money, what? Manny, where are you? Let me out! Hmm. All right, I'll look into that more later. That's true. I do have a bus though. Why don't I just do that? Baby! Domino, you'd better let me out of here. It's not called a bus Auntie! some stuff. I don't want to mess up the wheel. The wheel's my friend. I'm in here! If I bust all the handle, then I'm never going to get in there. Anybody? How about the hinge? Haha! -ha. Let me out! Manny, where are <laughs> you? Must have hit a major circuit. Manny! Hmm, but it looks like I've exposed the guts here. I don't want to bust all that. Okay, I see how this works. Damn it. Attached pretty well. What? Oh, and I had them so nicely lined up and everything. It's but the I had it all. Those are the tumblers of the combination lock. those by hand I need this wheel Tumblers are all lined up flush with the door jam. All right. What? What? Oh, and I had them so nicely lined up and everything. Okay, let's try. I can't move those by hand.
tumblers are all lined up flush with the door jam. Stay. Nice. Good job, whoever suggested that. Boom. All right, Mitchy, you can come out now. Mitchy? Oh. I love these. Looks like years and years of coral harvest reports. This can't be what this secret safe is meant to hold. They're all locked up. These must be very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. Oh, the giant battle axe. <laughs> I like that. He's like, doop boop. Oh, hey, there's something interesting there. What? What is it? What is he looking at? I, I don't see anything there. Oh, there's a battle axe. This must be the big chipper. is heavy man people in the old days were huge Mitchy, are you in there it's time to come out honey no time for hide and seek Looks like years and years of coral harvest reports. This can't be what this secret safe is meant to hold. Boy, the bus stall and I really did a number on that door. Hmm, some sort of metal contact. Hmm, no. Electrical current makes my marrow tingle. Electrical contact, eh? Hmm. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. You do anything. Uh oh, oh, Raul, I am so, so sorry. Looks like I messed up these contacts when I broke through with the bus stall. I don't think it's going to be as easy to pick from this side. Maybe I do something with this now. Oh ho! Manny, I knew you would. Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh the wind. Oh. <laughs> This is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. I don't want to mess up my blade. Oh, the old foldable scythe. That home plumbing sprinkler system looks like it's about to fall apart. What's in these cases? Take a look. It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, 
I used to see double in tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets cool. and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double in tickets? Counterfeits. That vent is the only way out of here that I can see. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. Well, that's a no-brainer. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. Can't reach that high. What if I'm using this? Too high still. I couldn't even reach it with that. I don't want to mess up my blade. I only have two items right now. At least that makes these kind of puzzles a little easier. I think that would just bring the whole ugly thing crashing down on me. Can't even really oh. swing the axe appropriately. It's more like a the axe is more just like a weight. That thing is definitely not my size. It's interesting. There's something to do with this circle.
thanks for not shooting me. Look, I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just that the past two years have been pretty tough, you know? Wait a minute. I don't want to bust all that. Yeah, I do. I don't want to bust all that. I can't reach that high. I don't want to bust all that. I think that would just bring the whole ugly thing crashing down on me. I don't think it's going to be as easy to pick from this side. I already did that from the other side. Yeah, Manny, you don't understand. Giant axe. Doesn't look like he'd enjoy a piggyback ride. Oh wait, it broke a thing. After you. What about the suitcases? Forget them, they're counterfeit. They wouldn't wow. put through this hole anyway. Let's How the go. heck was I supposed to figure that out? Okay, you get the kids and I'll meet you back here with the boat. What boat? Well, I'm working on that. Okay, Manny. I have to figure a way to launch that ship Gladys found. What I need is a giant stork to deliver that big baby right here. Hmm. So all that stuff with like the fire control mechanism was nothing? Go figure. So you know you're supposed to be able to turn off the fire con turn on the fire control system. You're supposed to be able to turn on the fire control system and then it drains out there. Huh. Okay. I think somebody in this crane needs to be smashed. Oh, it's on when you walk in. I turned it off and then I cut the line.
I feel like that it wasn't even that clear that I was cutting the line with my side there because it was like the actual Im image didn't change at all. This scoop looks heavier than my last ship. Whoops. Hmm. I, I can see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. Yeah, I thought it was still too short. Anyway. Apparently, I did smash the state. Oh, this is a smaller, much more compact. Oh, I get it. Uh-oh. I like this area with I have so few... Hey! Claudius isn't dead! I suspected as much. Claudius! You're okay! Well, it hurt a little when I hit, but my head cracked open an aft panel here! I gotta tell you, <clears throat> I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good point. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea's good too. I think this baby. Oh yeah, good point. I was just wrenching. So good to see him again. I thought the chain like dropped down here or something. That's as close to the edge as I want to be. Well, that's just how I get down here. Oh, okay. I feel like this is a bad idea in general, but does Gladys want the bus stall? Hey, need one of these? Uh, that would have been easier to get her open than with my head, but it's too late now. Coffer Xor! Thank you for resubbing two months in a row.
Did the chain just attach itself? Like if I pull it now, is it going to pull the entire thing out? That would be cool. I can't believe I killed it. Oops. This coop looks heavier than my last ship. Yeah, let's see if I can like jump down that hole or something now. Hey, Ored Pine. to do there. Why did I do that? <laughs> I sometimes do strange things that I don't know why. Ooh, what if I... This is actually a little bit like the, um... The puzzle at the beginning of this area. I think it's all like bundled up. Aha! Gotcha! A strong crane, man. Gladys, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat already? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. <laughs> oh, he used those. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. Uh, I guess that was supposed to be. That was another part of the thing that I kind of missed. <laughs> Whoops. What? So are you really going to bring me back and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. What's... Shark! Shark in the water! Or actually, it's not a shark. It's it's the octopus job, sub. And look at you, already screwing it up. <clears throat> I suppose you realize that this is going to go down on your permanent record. Side on side violence.
Let's roll. This doesn't look good for the kid. Look, Dom, I'm not gonna work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just consider this your severance. What are you I'm sending this domino back to the bone pile. Yeah. How do you like that? I don't believe you, Calavera. You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying <laughs> to show you how, but you don't listen. I don't if have those cool sunglasses, okay? Attitude, just look what could happen to you. Ah! Ooh. It's nasty. Year four. Who the heck are those guys? Name? Pugsy Poligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Glorious. 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 It does mean. No. Glorious. Where'd you go this time? Glorious. The name of the great one, Glottis. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> These guys are like the little uh, has this grand demon green guy. Driving. Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the noble one will surely die. But. Glottis. Glottis, I'm sorry. Many. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save everyone. Are you in much pain, my friend? Only because I let you down, Manny. What can I get you? Did anything help? I need to race to fly like, like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, Karnal. Maybe I'll see her on the other side. Maybe I can find the bone wagon. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. No more hot rod. Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. Listen, fellas. Somebody, somebody get a pen. There it is. My final work. It could save me if you have the right, <coughs> the right <coughs> fuel. What fuel, Gladys? Gladys. Oh, no. Can you cure him? His spirit has fallen so low, normal driving would not cure him in time. He needs to go faster. Faster! <laughs> okay, yeah, I love these What's guys. What's wrong with him? Do you not know the one purpose, the one skill, the one desire of this humble spirit? Yes, but we've been so far away from cars and civilization for so long. Why, why did he ever leave his home? I, uh, I got him fired and then I needed a ride. Oh, Gladys, 
What have I done to no, you? You know, when you put it like that, like that, it does seem like this is all my fault. Do you have any vehicles here that we could use to revive him? Only the trucks that deliver the souls, but they are slow, so slow. Who are you guys? We are mechanics, same as he. But we have never before seen one of our kind so, so large. I've got to go see what I can do. Come back quickly, for his time here he is not long. Hmm. Poor Gladys. All right, well, on that sad note, I'm going to take a quick break. So, uh, we'll have to see what we can do for poor Gladys. Oh, jeez. That's a good point. I haven't saved in a long time. Whew. Dangerous. Thank you. We're back! Slightly delayed, we're back. Alrighty, let's see what we got going on here. So, here's a thing for turning the gondola. Gondolas? I knew we should have checked this side of the mountain before we walked up. It looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're brilliant. Well, it's good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. Well, okay. How eerie. They have the same tool cabinets as Gladys. How eerie. They have the same tool cabinets as Gladys. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. Oh, man. People are, uh, even here in the afterlife, at the end of the line, people are still... There's a note next to this toaster. To avoid further mishaps, please butter your English muffins after you toast them. Facilities. This facilities guys seem like it's closed. It's full of rags. I'll take a rag. It was a good idea to have a clean rag around. I'm not in the mood to dust. It's the mug rack at the end of the world. <laughs> Sadly, I have no mug to hang. There's a mug right there, isn't there? I already have a rag I don't know what to do with. I already have a rag I don't know what to do with. <laughs> That's true, rags and oil do seem like they go together. This better not stay in my pocket. All right, now I have an oily rag. I'll just put that in my pocket. That's a good thing to have. Just, you know, oop, can I go down? Oh, Gladys would love these. Nothing in the cab but donut boxes and coffee to go cups. Locked. Probably to keep out the Yeti. Yeti? Locked. Probably to keep out the Yeti. Looks like standard DOD issue. Oh, hey! Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed <laughs> me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. 
Well, he made it anyway. Uh, I got a mug. That's good. I drink it, but I don't want to get a packing foam mustache. It's the mug I gave Bruno, and it's full of that foam I packed him in. There's some packing foam in here with a Bruno-shaped dent in it. I do like the packing foam. Manny! What's wrong? Go up there and see! Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't no, sell their wait. tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Lehmann stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. Number nine. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Guess it's not so easy to fake number nine tickets. What happened to that train? Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. But we've just established that it doesn't they didn't sell their tickets. make any Someone difference. Else is trying to bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in Elmaro. How can I get there quickly? These rails took me four years. There. My friend is sick. Can you help us? A thousand demons have died upon delivering the souls they were created to protect. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Yeah, I noticed. Hey. Hey, buddy. Got your little hey, pond here. How'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody gave me no ticket, so nobody can take it away. So what are you pacing around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Gotta even out my life in this world before I go on to the next, you know? Well, that ought to do her. Is that a real thing? Goodbye, Chipito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine, mine. I'm gonna, gonna let, let it shine. This little, little light of mine, I'm gonna, gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna, gonna let it shine. Let, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let, let it shine. shine. Now he's just walking along the train tracks. actually do it. I could walk out of this world right now and not look back, but I can't. I can't do it. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. Well, I didn't notice that the side thing is different now. Has it been changing each area? Or each year, I guess, it probably changes. That's cool. I appreciate you guys being happy that I was singing there. That was. I wouldn't call that the. Uh, These must go all the way back to Elmaro. Job.
Yeah, the, figure, the gate looks super cool. I love the sort of yeah, the sort of Mesoamerican thing going on. Something won't let me go in there. That is I, the keeper of the gate. I need to go get my friends. You need to get your friends their tickets. Ah. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you, he left this note. Bird with a human head. In, um... In the town, there was a bird with a human head. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Híjole. Yikes. Rubicava, that's right. For some reason I forgot the name of that. Yes. Rubicava. Well, I have a mug to put on here now. I don't know why, but... I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. There's a note next to this toaster. To avoid further mishaps, please butter your English muffins after you toast them. Facilities. Ooh. Wait a minute. On some fire. I don't know why I'm doing this. I think it's just causing trouble. Whoa! What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. Oh, that was fast. Pierce the heart of the wind itself <laughs> and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of Drink the, the blood of flight. Speed, Ooh, I like that. Come back to us someday. That stuff is flame protardent. Why, why is Meche coming with me? At least most of the way. Hey, look! We're all ready to Rubicaba. Manny. Manny? Speed! Manny, where are you? Manny, I'm frightened! No! Bad! Bad Glottis! Oh. Well, at least you didn't have to fish me out. What a town! Remember the glory days, Manny? Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mio! She's been booby trapped by who? <laughs> <laughs> who? Wait, I'm tangled in cables here. Okay, that is the best bo booby trap ever. Oh my god! Why? How? What's going on? I have... I'll tell you what's been booby-trapped. My headphones. What's... This is... What? Happening? Why is this happening? I've been a good person.
the hell? There's like three different pairs of headphones. One sec. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, one pair of headphones disconnected. Holy crap, what happened? All right, sorry about that. Apparently that was uh, the most intricate tangle of headphones I've ever seen. Now, this amazing booby trap. Those dominoes are like one long fuse. Except much, much worse. I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. has gotten pretty lax around here apparently that's how they stop you from over there well, let's see what my place is like now uh, I remember this this music good times well there's no the bees aren't protesting anymore that's good right going on in the blue casket. Not much. I just can't do it without an audience. Will I do? Olivia. Hey. Hello, Vera. What are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. Ooh. Olivia. We had a thing. Because apparently he had a I thing would, with everybody. But I hate sucking gelatin straight from the tap. Coffin shooter one, two, three, just pour, chill, and serve. Right, the coffin shooters. Coffin shooter is the thing that puts people to sleep. tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl, but we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket? Where is she? Oh, well, 
We traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? Gee, Dwarf, I don't think that's correct. I guess if you have a lot of higher dominoes. Depends on your definition of a domino, I guess. You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on at least. Whoa. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. The moon is spooky. I didn't notice that before. It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone. And I thought to myself how the moon that night cast its light on my heart's true delight and the reef where her body was strewn. Ah, not quite the same with that old Velasco. Hmm. Nice poem. After two years, he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on, at least. Huh. Interesting. The Lumbago isn't actually 3D. What if I fill this with this stuff? Oh yeah. That's what the Lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. X Big Jake X360. We're doing good. How are you doing? Alright, so the thing that makes people go to sleep. It's locked, but there's nothing up there. That goes to the upper dock, but nothing's docked there now. Ooh, how about over here in the uh the tattoo parlor? I wonder if anybody's getting a cool tap. Nautical and nice, Look, my and a third one just says Anchor Mania. No, I don't want to disturb his grumpy little dreams. Your mother I don't will love wake it. Up Toto. Oh, Toto's plum tuckered out. No, I don't want to disturb Doesn't his grumpy hurt. little dreams. What's in here? Hold still. Stuff. What did I take? Your mother will love it. Liquid nitrogen. Not to be used on bone. Liquid nitrogen. Interesting. Okay, that's really annoying. Hole.
Yeah. I better try feeding the Theandro. It's supposed to put him to, maybe if he's already asleep, it wakes him up. Stop moving. Who knows what crazy I don't really do that. No. Well, that's true. Dominoes used to be made out of bone. Or ivory, I guess, they're usually. <clears throat> I was just watching an episode of QI the other day, actually. That is a great show. Just evaporate. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Poor guy. So nervous. I think he's gonna be sick. So who set this up? Ah, that's the one place I can still go. The lighthouse. <laughs> What's going on over here? Anything? There's got to be something in here. Does this do anything? I don't really want to do that. No. Put Gladys to sleep. What's that? It's a uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mm. Why do I want to put Gladys to sleep? Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes. Siri, not bad tall. <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago lemonade! <laughs> right, with the drinking. Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. My stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. Why did I want to do that? So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? Show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. I feel like there's other ways that I could have gotten the water into this area. Oh. Well, I guess I know what to do now.
That is effective. Hey, good idea! I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Fiendish. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, <laughs> nice. Good transition, I like that. Looks like Hector's taking over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, <laughs> and they live out on the fringes of the city. That would be... La Resistance, perhaps? Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. <laughs> it was a trap! There's a beard? There's only one thing to do. More than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. Dum dum dum. Oh, he cut off the part that was. You idiot, Bowsley. Your new lab assistant is a spy. Haven't you ever heard of a background check? No. No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. Ooh. Haha! Another man's trash is my thing that I'm gonna get out of the trash for a reason that I don't quite understand. That soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. It's the part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop. Better save this part from sprouting. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what did I get? What did I get? I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Hey, the pigeons! Come here, little manny. Ow! Hey! Must be a little mechie. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, a.k.a. the florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sproutella for Hector? Instead of our side. We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I can imagine that uh, going from being a florist to being a biological weapons guy. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. Could be uh, rather traumatizing. This camera sprouted as well. That's three LSA casualties in one night. <laughs> Hmm, perhaps there's a mole in the system. High-tech surveillance equipment they have here in the sewer. Memo to all agents. Priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. All right, see you later, roasted gravy. You know, do that roasting thing. Hey, Eva finally got that radio working. Any messages for me? No, nope. call stopped <laughs> coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Oh, 
Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector, and a gun so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. Their relationship actually is quite interesting, you know. This combination, Manny has this like combination of, you know, feeling, obviously feeling remorseful and down there. guilty about. Never mind. Go back to sleep, whatever you are. Feeling remorseful and guilty, but then also he seems to be sort of falling in love with her, even though he hasn't actually known her that much. I guess he's known her a year now. How about this one? Anyone down here? Monsters? Again? Can anyone hear me besides the scary monster? Dang. The GC Smith, uh, it'll be... It's either in the uh, video on demand or it'll be up on uh, our YouTube channel, you know, at some point. Okay, I don't know what's down there, but I have issues with it. I uh Okay. I don't know what's down there, but I have issues with it. I won't tell you when it'll be up on our YouTube channel cuz I don't want to make any promises, but Go to sleep soon thing. Close your big clear blind eyes. Figure out some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets. Oh, hey. <laughs> hmm. Where shall I find a disguise? I just it's don't know. It's not like Johnny Thunder lets just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business elsewhere. Mmm, show business coffee. Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. And then, here's the good part. Wow. A little too hot for my pockets, thank you. No kidding. So oh, nice. coffee, great. Hmm. You need to like drug their coffee, probably. About time we got a PA around here. Hey, kid, keep it black and keep it coming, all right? Well, I guess so. And the director says... I don't have anything with me right now. I've got a freaky hand. Picture. Note. Oh. Liquid nitrogen. Not to be used on bone. Oh, are you here for the Thunderboy tryouts? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, that's too bad. Because we just got the last two parts. Maybe next season. <laughs> <laughs> of course, as soon as I save up enough money for a double-end ticket, I'm out of here. What? You can't just buy a double N. Well, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows uh, Hector Lamas. 
Wow, Ooh. you know everybody. You don't say. Hey, out of the dressing room. We got all the Thunder Boys we need. I am a busy man. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Hey, get lost, pal. No autographs. What you're up to, I've been watching. Stay there, I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Hey, get lost, pal. No autographs. I feel like that uh, that note is going to be handy. To make anybody think Hector Le Mans hates them. Ooh. I think that would be disrespectful. I don't think I can use one item on another item. Can I? Yeah, because that just puts it away. There can't be too much in here. I know it would be, but I, it doesn't tell me if I'm going to do it. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. Oh, there's... Darn it. There's stairs. There's a thing there. Thanks for the hint, Captain Spam. I probably would have not seen that, at least not for a while. Coffee oh, on your you face. I didn't. I. You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. A little too hot for my pockets. Thank you. This snowmaker is huge, but the grinder part looks handheld. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a handheld grinder.
Handheld grinder. Hey kid, this is your lucky day. We got an opening and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. And sit on down, we gotta start your makeup. <laughs> you don't go too far, you never know where it's showtime around here. Nobody will know who I am. Ooh. I can go up to the casino. Hi, que alivio. I can't remember the last time I had access to a men's room. Actually, a fairly modest casino. A lot of open space. Hey, what's going on under that raincoat? I don't know. What's going on under that makeup? Agent Calavera? You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from our arch enemy at the same time. Wow. That guy is dedicated. Hola. Hey, it's Chochilla Charlie. No drinks for me, thanks. Buenos dias. Back off, sleaze baller. My husband here will bust your jaw. Hey, these work without money. Maybe Hector's not all that bad. I knew it. They're all fixed. They work without money? What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? I'll stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limons himself, and I'll make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. Ooh. Can you crack any machine? None of these unholy temples is safe from the LSA. Mira! Can you crack any machine? None of these unholy temples is safe from the LSA. Mira! This is where Hector rips off the people too poor to go upstairs. Hey, that guy. Hey, Going buddy. Up, this elevator goes up straight to the penthouse suite of Hector Lamans. Mr. Lamans, he only do the business with the very select elite clientele. I'm select, and I'm very elite. You look like you work in a meat locker to me, pal. These aren't my regular clothes. Well, when you get your regular clothes, I'll give you the regular treatment. Out of my way. I'm in show, show business. business. Show. You can find and there's no business <laughs> like that. I believe you may have heard. Look, I just want you to understand that I'm totally sympathetic to the extremely intense power trip you're on. But beat it, or should I say, mush! <laughs> I think that would be disrespectful. I think that would be disrespectful. But giving him his own hand back would be disrespectful? Uh, 
Alright. Hey, weren't you once a tube switcher repairman? Yeah, but they took out the whole tube system. It kept getting jammed. Not my fault. Now, finally, I am free to pursue my one true desire. Elevator operation? Yes. Johnny Thunder isn't gonna be happy about this. Maybe Mr. Thunder needs to spend more money on wardrobe. Johnny Thunder... Maybe Mr. Thunder needs to spend more money on wardrobe. I'm okay for now. Be something to do with this hand or to do in here. What else do I have? Picture? That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. Here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Magic got this sheet for Charlie. Aha! Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. Can't be too much in here. I better save it. I'm going to punt this twerp the first chance I get. Oh. You must be patient, my kitten. Uh, I'll escort you to your party just as soon as my system pays off here. There's a machine over here that seems unbeatable. Uh -huh. That one with the sucker planted in front? Tell me when it gives up, and I'll make it cough cold change. All right, we got the we got the plan. Uh, why do you want to get him into a sheet? I told him there was a big toga party at the Casino Romano, but he had to wear this sheet to get in. After he changes, you take his suit and go upstairs. Get it? Hmm, you're trickier than I thought. Scoosh. Not again. I'll get you. Special assignment just in from Salvador. Uh, oh, for crying out loud. Crack that machine and leave the change right away. Yes, Sonny! This is a very strange. It started off as a completely normal, understandable game, but a guy who's a travel agent in the land of the dead, and then things have gotten weird. System worked. I knew it. I told you. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one for me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Oh, that's why the bathroom's there. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. Ooh. Infallible, you say? <laughs> Little tight in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog. All right. All right. Good night, Anubis one six nine. Anubis, Anubis, Anubis. 
I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but good night. Alright. Man. I look pretty swanky, actually. My face paint matches my jacket. They're unarmed. It's not gonna go up there unarmed. I'm not going up there unarmed. Not much use without the grinder. This snowmaker is huge. Hmm, grinder kind of went away. Alright, so everyone's talking about putting the arm in here. I think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. why I'm doing that, but, well, I'm doing it now. Yeah, so giving him his arm back wasn't disrespectful, but putting it in a grinder is totally fine. There's a thing with the big monster and the whatever the monster thing is. How about this one? Anyone down here? Monsters again? So there's an actual way okay. to go there. I don't know what's down there, but I have issues with it. It's a bone chipper now. Well, that don't do anything.
Memo to all agents. Priority urgent. In light of the recent discipline nothing to see but flowers, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Already got some. Must be a little mechy. Already got some. Glottis doesn't seem to be something I can interact with. Don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? Already got some. Why did I... This patient's got my scary note from Hector. Why did I do that? Already got some. goes nothing. Go, baby, for la revolución! Skeletal pigeons are way creepier than they should be. Whoa! Now that bird is creepy. <laughs> oh no, his face is just permanently like that. One of Hector's messengers. With a m m message for me? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it! I knew he was out to get me the whole time! But you'll never find my secret out of that door. You're going to have to find yourself another floor! Oh, ho, ho. of bone are sprouting when they hit the puddle and turning into baby tears. Tricky dicky. I saw Bowsley run down here. Where did he go?
Okay. I think I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. <laughs> hey, what's that? This is subtle. That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us! Oh, it's a crocodile. Coyote556, thank you for subscribing for 13 months in a row. Whoop. idea of what I want to do. Tail. Well, it's still a florist place. Hector? Hector, is that you? You better back off, man. Man. I mean it. I'm not feeling too rosy. That's the most gruesome window display I've ever seen. I feel. That's the most gruesome window display That's a I've ever gruesome seen. Display. Hector, is that you? Listen, Bowsley, I'm not here to hurt you. Listen, Bowsley, I'm here to hurt you. It's not Hector. It's Manny Calavera. It's not Hector. It's Manny Calavera. Come to sprout ya. Oh dear. I mean it, I'm Judging not feeling the too emblem, rosy. These cases I'm are having... full Stratella. Yeah, the good stuff too. None of that slow acting fern food that I left for Hector. What's that? What are you doing? Are you crazy? Get back! Put your hands over your head, put your head in your hands, put your head in your lap! Burn oh jeez. He's unstable. I'm thinking I better. Things are gonna Looks change like a big around here! Tape screwed to the wall. Screw to the wall! 
things are gonna change around here! At least he's got yeah, some man. of the bodies on ice. Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? It's locked. They're soldered shut. Freshness counts. It's locked. They're soldered shut. They're soldered shut. Who, who, who do oh, you think you're geez. fooling? I'm not touching any of these human remains. I'm not touched? This human remains? Same! I love plants. Is that so wrong? Plants are beautiful. Two people. You think plants are death? Plants are life. You all, you are all death. You're all the same. If people were plants, the world would be a better place. Look, I need a gun to put Hector out of business. Look, I need a gun. I need Hector. We're in business. Time to Plants are beautiful. Two people. Your that soul has already are been reaped. Plants are life. You all, you are all dead. My blade. You are all the same. If people were plants, the world would be a better place. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. I've got enough juice right here to turn the world green. Oh ho! Hey, do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box! Oh, you geez. get out of here right now or I'll let you have it. I'll... Doesn't like bells. Okay. Good, good, good to know. Yeah, sir. Sir, you're being very aggressive. Can I look in the window? Hey there, stranger. Can I help you? Um... Uh... Uh, I'm looking for something in a 9mm. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. I... Okay. There you go. Would you like some baby's breath to go with that? Sure. All right. Here you go. You have a great day now. Okay. That, that was a, a thing that happened. Well, now I have a gun. Ho, ho, ho. I guess he's, yeah, so used to the... Hey, yeah. Is this the one... He may be the one person in this entire game that we've actually left better than when he, uh, than when I met him. Everybody else we basically ruined the lives of. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Crocky ducky, then answer me this one simple question. Huh, okay. What are the odds in a million of Hector Lamans' slot machine paying out? What? What kind of question is that? Oh, sorry! <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. Hmm. All right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. If you were a cat, how many of you could Hector Lamans fit in his stomach? One. Oh, sorry! <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. <laughs> All right. I better not expose my weapon in here. Probably security cameras everywhere.
Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, uh -huh. how many stones might an Englishman say that Hector Lamont's weighs? Blank. Ten. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. Oh, Let's I go, see. Huh. Okay. Shows it briefly. Lamanz's favorite prime number. Fifteen. Oh, sorry. Huh? <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamanz like I know Hector Lamanz. No, that wasn't it. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. What is Hector Lamont's specific gravity in units of one? Oh, right. Of course, fifteen five. isn't prime. An easy vault. Too bad. I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont's. Hey, him. Celso Flores, what are you doing Celso. in the waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double N tickets? This price seems much more than double. The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Well, they cost a mint. Because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho. Don't try any of that <laughs> tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. This is reverse reverse psychology. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... Okay, I guess you don't care about my problems. Well, it's not that we don't care, it's just that we're a little busy. Is this your wife, Celso? Yes, we've just returned from a lovely cruise. Well, it became lovely once I caught up with you, my little tamale. Well... If you need more help with your decision, I'll be around. Yes, well, thank you.
I'll bet Hector pauses here every day and thinks to himself, boy, I wish I could see past my gut and enjoy my expensive monogram floor. Oof. Look at Hector's door before you talking, finish talking to these guys? I don't think I can look at Hector's door. So, are we ready for our ride on the big train? Well... I'm your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already. But he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so... I suppose <laughs> the position is open. Do you have any other questions I might be able to help you with? We're just still so concerned about the price of these tickets. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... Alright, before I continue on here, I'm just going to take another quick commercial break. I'll be back. Hey, and we're back. Okay, I guess you don't care about my problems. Well, it's not that we don't care, it's just that we're a little busy. Well, if you need more help with your decision, I'll be around. Yes, well, thank you. Well, here goes nothing. See? <laughs> I knew you could change him. What? Who are you? I'm the Grim. Ah! Oh, I wouldn't talk to him right now. He's mad at us because we won't buy his tickets. Hmm. So I have to convince them to buy the tickets that I know are wrong. awkward so are we ready for our ride on the big train well okay just let me vent a teeny bit more I really don't see how that could help us make up our minds just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Yeah. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. What did they use this money? Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Well, I, 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 of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on <laughs> in. Let's chat, shall we? Ooh. Ah, still got it. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I Whoa. talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general? Shouldn't she be like a skeleton? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I really you Oh, for oh like really? <laughs> nice. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, two percent of these, Mister. My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Mister Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been. Very bad 
boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the Campos pile. Yeah, you freaky raven thing. Don't let the ground hit you when you fall, but it will. Hello? Pigeons? Friends now? I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign. The legs pointed too far down, and it looks like Hector blew the motor. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. I think using that old gargoyle as a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Sproutella, not Spackle. No, I have to get to that suitcase before the tickets blow away. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. I'm saving my ammo for the big guy. I don't want to mess up my blade. get over to the other roof on the leg of the sign but the legs pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor not picking that up It's 
sprout Tella, not Spackle. It's really not that. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Tella, not Spackle. Nope. No, I have to get to that suitcase before the tickets blow away. My third arm. Oh, okay. That's the lane. Yeah, like, I was doing the right thing, but just not in the, the way that it was showing. Well, it was gonna happen eventually. Hey, hey! Ticket for you. That one must be yours. Don't forget to send for help. <laughs> Whoa, what? I killed that thing. Why won't you die? You. Creepy, creepy raven thing. I run, Van Salvador. Get in, quick. We were supposed to have coverage back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Oh no. Hola, Manuel. The femme fatale, of Time course. Time for you to swing, daddy -o. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No. I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. supplies water to keep the flowers alive? Does he see them as a memorial or as trophies? Not thirsty. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Not thirsty. She even took my side. Worst. 
Quantum Dot, thank you for subscribing for seven months in a row. Awesome. This is the way in. I just hope there's a way out. She loves me. She's not dead. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. <laughs> by that same logic, Manny, Ooh. you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double-end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour, because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all their fast-acting Sproutella. Very slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. No. Manny! I'm where sprouted! You You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave! <laughs> I claw it out, but I don't. Have the strength. Oh. Ah. Ah. Frozen. Gracias, Toto Santos. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. <laughs> the talking to her is just sadly shaking his head. Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right, and tell Leva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. For when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> ah! Oh, hardcore. Explosive tooth. He truly gave his body to the cause. He's fine right where he is. Not picking that up. Hey, my scythe. <sighs> well, what do you know? 
Sal had a ticket all along. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Okay, so I can use that to find his body. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. It's not doing anything now. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. Anything a scythe can't do? Shirts subscribed! Thank you for subscribing, shirts! Must be the key to Salvador's trunk. of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. Oh, yeah. Time to lay the smack down. I'm not getting any closer until he runs out of ammo. If he runs out of ammo, that is. Extra Sprotella. How do you like that? Man, that stuff is nasty. That doesn't sound good. Like, I don't know what Sprotella would be if you, uh, if it was like a real thing. It's almost like napalm or something. I just like the image of the Grim Reaper just holding a gun. Oh, 
and nothing was left but his little fez. Many have a ticket now. You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, Manny, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assumed I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. Aww. I'm a big demon success story. So, yay! I this is it then. I didn't screw up somebody's life. Come here, give me a hug. This is one of the best ones I ever had. Bye. Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. You might as well enjoy the trip. <laughs> nice. Skeletal mariachi band. I've always wanted one of those. go Grim Fandango Let's turn in the volume a little bit Alrighty Well that was awesome I'm uh, I'm glad you guys were here with me I needed some help in a few sections and uh, we had some laughs We had some uh, some feels it's good, and this is the exactly the right time for it to be finished. I don't think we have time for Creeper World Two or uh, or Creeper World Three or uh, Peggle Two. We have it's like two minutes left, in my thing. So. But, uh, but yeah, um, stay tuned for, uh, Beach's backlog, or not Beach's backlog, for not Beach's backlog, for, uh, Alex's backlog of derp. He has a lot of derp built up over the years, as you may imagine. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you uh, guys like Creeper World 3. It's worthwhile to mention that, I mean, I played it a couple times on stream, but it's worthwhile to mention that uh, that I still play uh, Creeper World 3 uh, usually a couple times a week, just on my own, because there's basically an infinite amount of content because there's all sorts of wonderful user-generated levels that people make. So uh, I still recommend you get it. And I also recommend that you get this game because it is great. <laughs> As you can see from the rating, 99% of people liked it. I don't know who that one person didn't like it, but 
Screw that guy. The, um, so, next week, we're going to be on to a different new game. I don't know what that game is going to be. Oh, okay. Thanks, Plummeting Sloth. That's a, uh, that's an interesting little bit of info. <laughs> Damn you, rounding! It's still 99%. Um, so I've got a couple options, I was thinking. Um, Dragon's Lair, no! No, that's bad. Bad game. That's not even really a game. Um, so yeah, so one of them might be... Uh, Brutal Legend. That is a game that we have currently on Steam. Um, somebody gave it to us. So Brutal Legend is an option. Um, definitely not Freddy's 2. Um, I think maybe not a uh, another um, adventure game right away. Um, the other one that I was thinking about um, is a game that I, I think I mentioned on a straw poll like a while ago. Uh, Grim, or uh, not Grim, uh, Soul Blazer. I don't know if anybody knows that game. Soul Blazer is a game for uh, Super Nintendo. And it was one of my favorite games from, uh, from back in the day on Super Nintendo. If anybody saw me playing um, uh, Evo, uh, which was I think the, the first game on uh, one of the first games that I played uh, on my stream. Uh, then um, you can know the kind of games that I like on Super Nintendo, I guess. But uh, yeah, Soul Blazer, made by the same team who did Act Razor, the original Act Razor. Uh, and Soul Blazer, uh, you you go around and you're uh, it's sort of. You, you go around this kind of dungeon area and uh, destroy monster layers and each layer that you destroy uh, opens up a um, uh, rescues somebody in sort of the overworld except it's not always a person like sometimes you release the soul of like a tulip or you release the soul of a vine or a fence <laughs> but you can talk to everything which is kind of weird So anyway, I might do that one. Um, yeah, Soul Blazer is actually sometimes called Act Razor, the sort of sequel to Act Razor, because the actual sequel to Act Razor is dumb and nobody likes it. Um, and Soul Blazer, I believe, was done by the same team, so it's sort of a spiritual successor. Darksiders, I've played the crap, I, I played a lot of Darksiders on my own, and I think, um, uh, didn't, um, Adam play a bunch of Darksiders? When he was, um, at least I know he was playing some Darksiders anyway when he was doing his 24 hour stream. Soul Blazer will be on emulator, by the way, if I do that. Darksiders uh, is on Steam, but we have Darksiders 1 and 2 here in the office um, uh, for 360, I think, because it's a good... Well, it's a game we got for Unskippable, and we didn't trade it in because it's a good game. I remember when Adam was doing that big long stream. <laughs> I uh, I came in, I came in in the morning after he had been playing for. I think he had been playing already for at least like twenty four hours, 
and then I came in, I came in in the morning, and he was playing, uh, he was playing Darksiders, and he was just in the basement of one of the castles, and just swimming around in a circle. <laughs> It was, it was like, Adam, Adam, are you, are you okay? He was, uh, he was pretty far gone. Terran Igima, Ter Terran, I don't know that game. Thank you for playing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank me for playing. Thank you for watching. You. So anyway, that's really cool. Now, um, from what I understand, if you did buy this yourself, um, one version, one reason why you know you, you saw me play this obviously, but one reason why you might want to watch buy this and play it yourself is because it also comes with a director's commentary. Which I didn't turn on because that just would have taken way too long. And we're back at the start again. Alright, any um, Super Nintendo games I would definitely be emulating BT dubs. And it's entirely possible that, like Evo, I may use freeze and defrost states because some of those old Super Nintendo games are pretty brutal in terms of difficulty and watching me play the same thing over and over again is not that interesting. Probably. Huh. Terran Ajima. Terran Ajima? Anyway, so there's still, there's, you know, a week to figure out stuff. So, uh, yeah, I may, um, mess around. I may, uh, do... Keep an eye on the uh, things on my stream uh, forum, the uh, or the forum thread in the Loading Ready Live streaming th uh, forum, and I'll probably uh, post any info there about what game I might or might not be playing, or maybe like a straw poll or something. Terra Enigma. Oh, of course. I was like Terra Najima, Terra Enigma. That makes sense. Terra Enigma. So, uh, anyway, I am gone over time, so it is uh, time for me to go away, and uh, I will be back um, next, or I guess I'll be back on uh, Wednesday for GPLP. Graham and I will be back uh, probably. Uh, playing more of the Sunset Overdrive, but uh, coming up now, we've got uh, some IDDQ Derp with Arlex, so going to go offline and uh, be back in a sec. I'll just run a commercial as we go off, so. and of course, remember that uh, all our streaming here on Loading Ready Live is uh, brought to you by our awesome people who uh, do our Patreon you can see just down the corner, patreon.com slash loading ready run. And also people who subscribe to the stream. So I will uh, see you guys later.